Thank you for joining us and welcome to our presentation of Selling Your Business, Elements of a Successful Sell-Side Process by the Exit Strategist. As a business seller, you must recognize that a business sale is a very difficult process. The closing ratios for many of the larger middle market firms are well below 50%. Our feeling is that the approaches that worked in the past, more passive campaigns, email blasts to private equity groups, mailings, simply don't work anymore in this busy information overload world of large company CEOs and directors of mergers and acquisitions. This is a graphic representation of the steps involved in a professional sell-side process. Think about Oracle trying to sell a half a million dollar software project to a Fortune 500 company with a mailing. What about IBM selling a large company on a 10-year, ten, ten $150 million data center outsourcing project with an email blast? This sounds pretty silly when you think of it. Of course they don't do that. They have highly trained, highly compensated, and highly skilled salespeople that call at the highest levels of corporate America and present the strategic case for their complex and expensive offering. These companies are the best at what they do and understand what it takes to maximize their performance. With a business sale, you have the same type of highly complex, strategic, and expensive proposition. What makes you think that your business sale will be accomplished by any other process than a direct sales approach by highly trained M&A professionals calling on the presidents of buying companies. This presentation discusses the process of a successful business sale transaction. The first step is the execution of the engagement agreement. It spells out the activities of your investment banker and details the fee structure. The key elements of this agreement are monthly fees, success fees, cash at close, and cancellation. As Stephen Covey would say, begin with the end in mind. It is important that seller and investment banker have a meeting of the minds about the seller's desired outcomes. We often discuss, discuss valuation expectations, deal structure, for example, the amount of cash at closing, any seller financing, earnouts, etc. We often discuss seller's post-sale stay-on period and what capacity he or she desires, for example, full-time for three months followed by 20 hours a week for six months. We have a philosophy that is to the seller's great advantage to get the sales process completed as soon as possible and that is how we operate. Our objective is to have the blind profile, which is a two-page document that describes the company and the strategic opportunity without revealing the identity of the seller. We want that completed within the first week. The non-disclosure agreement or confidentiality agreement is a standard document that we customize to each client by adding their unique number, for example, 060524. That number is used to identify our client to prospective buyers until the non-disclosure agreements are executed. Creating the confidential business review is another area where our procedure differs from most in our profession. Through experience, we have learned that it can be a long, drawn-out period to get all the com company information necessary to complete this document to both ours and our seller's satisfaction. Some of the competitors do no marketing of their client company before all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed on this document. That could take up to four months. We believe that our client should not be paying a monthly fee to a merger and acquisition firm that is waiting for information. We therefore process in parallel. We immediately produce the blind profile and begin the contact process while we are preparing the confidential business review. There is no better motivated to our sellers than to have five executed NDAs with potential buyers to get them motivated to provide the necessary information to complete our confidential business review. 
Our process is the most effective in compressing the time period between start and closing. It is a direct sales approach that involves phone calls to each of the top buyer prospects. It is very labor intensive, requiring an average of 10 dials for every successful contact. When we reach the target, we have less than one minute to establish credibility and to articulate the opportunity and get their attention. After all, presidents of companies are very busy people. The importance of our industry specialization is quite evident here because we speak the language. Our credibility is established with this prospect and it increases the likelihood that we will be considered seriously for this opportunity. If the president is interested, we ask for his or her email, if we don't already have it, and we email the combined profile non-disclosure agreement. We enter a follow-up task in our contact management system for three days, and if we have not received the executed non-disclosure agreement, we are back on the phone with a friendly reminder. Another differentiator in our process is the management of the process itself. We keep detailed records of every phone call, email, response, reaction, and buyer feedback. Every week we have a status update call with our client and they are provided with status update reports which detail where every prospect is in the sales process. For example, we track every non-disclosure agreement that's executed and any prospects who have withdrawn from consideration. We also review buyer feedback with our clients and may alter our strategic positioning or approach to improve our future effectiveness. This is a critical step to have the best representation you can have. Mid-market capital often earns our fees in this step many times over. The buyer is trying to buy your company on the most favorable terms and conditions. We are trying to move the terms and conditions in your direction. By turning over every stone and professionally presenting the opportunity to a large universe of the most appropriate buyers, we can bring several interested buyers to the table. We get feedback from our sellers on what aspects of the various offers that are most favorable to them and attempt to move our best targets to an offer that combines the best features of all of the other offers. This is a delicate process because if a buyer feels that he is being leveraged, he will simply withdraw from the process. We do a great deal of our negotiating before the letter of intent. Generally, a letter of intent says, if we do all of our due diligence and everything checks out exactly as presented thus far, and we find no surprises, we are willing to offer you this amount of money for your business under these terms and conditions. It is essentially a non-binding or qualified letter of intent. The other feature is that there will be a lockout period for all other potential buyers. In other words, in return for us spending our time and resources in the due diligence process, you cannot continue to actively market your company to other buyers for a period of 45 days. That is why we negotiate so hard before the LOI because we are then precluded from improving on the terms and conditions. If the due diligence is not to their liking, they may try to improve their terms and counteroffer. If that happens, we have the right to go back to the other interesting parties and solicit additional competing bids. The only way to prevent bad buyer behavior and an attack on transaction value is to have several interested buyers ready to step in. It is our job to convey this to the author of the original letter of intent. The due diligence process really has two purposes for the buyer. One, to really understand what they are buying, and two, to try to undo all that hard negotiating we did to get the value and terms in the letter of intent. 
This process is extremely detailed and exhaustive. The buyer will most likely want to see every customer contract, sales pipeline, all employee agreements, all supplier agreements, product documentation, all accounts receivable, accounts payable, any legal issues, and they may even want to make customer satisfaction phone calls, of course disguised for a different purpose. If anything was presented prior to due diligence that is found to not be true or accurate, get ready for a purchase price adjustment that will be far greater than the value of the discrepancy uncovered, or worse, they simply walk away because they have lost trust. The other thing that occurs is that they will interpret their findings in the most favorable way for themselves and attempt to hack away at transaction value. Mid-market capital is standing guard at that door and we will make certain that any reductions are legitimate. If you have not sold a business before, you will be amazed at the length of this document and the incredible number of reps and warranties with requirements for accompanying detailed exhibits. Again, it is very important to have an experienced merger and acquisition firm by your side that has established their credibility with the buyer. The attorneys will do the legal work, but the business case is the purview of the buyer and his M&A team and the seller and mid-market capital. Well, we made it! Everyone will probably be mentally drained by this time because even if buyer and seller are behaving in a very professional and respectful manner, the process encompasses an incredible number of issues that must be addressed to both parties' satisfaction. You will need experienced cool heads during this pressure-packed process. Sometimes we all sit in a big conference room at the seller's attorney's office and walk around the table and sign 20 piles of documents and sometimes we exchange documents via fax with hard copy follow-up via overnight carrier. Thinking of selling your business? Most business owners sell only one business in their lifetime. The results of that sale can have a major impact on the financial future of your family. Subscribe to our Exit Strategist Ease newsletter, which contains a wealth of useful advice to help guide you through your business sale. We are constantly updating our knowledge base with actual experiences from many successful business sale engagements. Subscribe today and learn about new tools to reduce taxes, creative deal structures, valuations, buyer negotiation tactics, how to maximize your selling price, and much more. Hope to see you in the future. Thank you.